Alrighty, everyone. So Rabbit R1 has a update over the air update, which was kind of interesting because I actually showed up um, doing the over the air update on the Rabbit R1 differently than I recall. So I might show you that at the end of the video. And then, so this new feature is about memory and it is again, it's an over the air update for May 16, which was Friday. 2025. So we're going to go through enabling it. We're going to go through the interview, talk about new memory creation, managing memories, and possible challenges. And the fun thing is that this is all on their website. So if you go to Rabbit Tech Support, it tells you how to use the memory with the Rabbit R1, and that's basically what we're going to do. And so here you go, how to use your memory how to enable, you can only enable and disable memory on your R1, so it's on your device. You cannot enable or disable memory in Rabbit Hole. All right, so let's start from the beginning. It is easy to start saving memories. You just need to enable memory on your R1 and then take the initial memory interview. The Rabbit memory operator will ask you questions that respond in real time to learn more about you. You do not need to use the push to talk button. That's interesting. So let's go ahead and get this started. So, you got to go to settings, and then um, we have to find memory, and there's memory right there, and we're going to turn it on, and then we're going to go back, and let's see what happens. All right, to enable memory, you first need to talk to our memory operator. Make sure your volume is up before continuing. I think my memory is up, but we will find out the hard way. It said that we will get a um, phone call. So my memory's up pretty good. It says we'll get a phone call from the Rabbit R1. So let's see what happens. It says that we will receive a virtual call from the Rabbit memory operator and we will tap to answer the virtual call and start the memory interview once it happens. So we are going to try to be patient. Let's go back up. Make sure this is on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Make sure there's nothing else there. Use touch. So it says use touch, so I didn't follow the directions. Hi. It's nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm your memory operator. I'm here to help you get set up with the memory feature on your Rabbit R1. What's your name? You can call me Roadrop. Okay, Roadrop. I'll be asking you a few questions so that I can get to know you better. Are you comfortable with that? Sure. Great. Let's start with a few questions I have prepared. What do you like to do in your spare time? I like to walk my dog, I like to run, I like to bike, I like to play with technology, all types of technology, especially the R1. Sounds like you have a lot of active and tech-related interests. Walking your dog, running, and biking are great ways to stay healthy. And it's fantastic that you enjoy playing with different types of technology, especially the R1. What's one of your favorite features or things to do with the R1? I like to use it when I'm walking my dog on the weekends and talking about technology updates and artificial intelligence. I like to get updates on ed tech, AI, and um, all things technology. That sounds like a wonderful way to combine your love for technology and staying active. Talking about tech updates and AI while walking your dog must make those walks even more interesting. Do you have a favorite topic within AI or ed tech that you're particularly excited about? Um, no, I just like to keep up to date on everything. I use the Rabbit R1 the most and Google Gemini. 
Staying updated on everything is a great approach, especially with tools like the Rabbit R1 and Google Gemini. They must provide a lot of useful insights and capabilities. What do you find most exciting about using these technologies? Just learning about them and finding ways to implement different ways of using them. That's a fantastic mindset. Learning and discovering innovative ways to apply new technologies can be very rewarding. Is there a particular project or idea you're currently exploring with the R1 or Google Gemini? Not right now. That's perfectly fine. Exploring and experimenting when the time is right can lead to some exciting discoveries. If you ever have a project or idea in the future, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for sharing your interest with me, Roadrop. That's all my questions. Thank you. You're welcome, Roadrop. Thanks for sharing about your interests and how you use technology. If you want to add or edit memories later, just ask your R1. Have a good day. Bye-bye. All righty, so that's the um, interview. That wasn't too bad. And so now after you enable the memory, you got the interview, and so you can add new memories. And so how to save new memories, you just, after you finish the memory interview, your R1 will automatically create new memories as you interact with it. You can save a memory from your R1. You can press the side button on your R1 and say something like, remember this about me, or save this memory in your prompt. So let's try something simple. Hi, Roger, can you save this memory? I drink Diet Coke, that's my favorite soda. On it. Okay. Saving a note about favorite soda. I have saved that memory for you. You drink Diet Coke. That okay. is your favorite soda. If there is anything else you would like to add or change, just let me know. Okay, the other way to do this is you can go into Manage Memories. And you can see um, what was created in the interview. And then you can add one here. So I'm sure if I refresh this, it will show information about the soda. So let's do this. Um, So you can add a memory like that. And so let's see, we will refresh. And there's this one. And I don't see the one about the Diet Coke yet, but I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, so what else do we have? How to save memories, tips for using memories on your R1. Review the following tips, language preferences. You can ask for specific styles like Gen Z slang, be as formal or, or as possible or correct grammar mistakes as I make them. Interest in hobbies and skills. You can say I'm a beginner woodworker. Personal information. You, your R1 can remember things like your home address or a friend's phone number. Important dates. You can use memories to keep track of things like birthdays and anniversaries. And then there's a nice warning right here that says, um, do not create memories with sensitive information like passwords, credit card numbers, or banking information. Use the cookie jar to securely log into accounts um, to use with the lamb and the teaching mode. All right, how to manage your memories. We already went through that. And how to fix issues with the memory on your R1. Check for conflicting memories. Like if I say I like Diet Coke and then I say I like um, Coke and both I say both are my favorites, that might be a conflicting memory. Look for memories that are too extreme, that are too extreme a memory, like include the word banana in every sentence might not work. Toggle memory off and then back on. Use the previous instructions in this article to disable or re-enable. Clear your memories. Use the previous steps in this article to clear all your memories. How long would the memory interview take? It only took a few minutes. And you had to press the touch screen, not the push to talk button. Will my memories be deleted if I disable? Would they will not. Uh, will I keep my memories if I unlink the R1? Yes, the memories are connected to your rabbit hole account. 
it, what it doesn't say is how does that work with multiple R1s and what language does the memory operator understand? Rabbit memory operator uses OpenAI's GPT-40 real-time and can speak and understand over 50 languages. Alrighty, and there was one more thing. Let me see if I can remember what it was. All right, so let me try one of my memories and see, see what happens. Hey, Roger, can you tell me my, what my favorite soda is? Searching now. I've noted that your favorite soda is Diet Coke. If you need me to convey this information to someone specific, please provide more details. All right, so we don't need that, but let me try one more. Hey, Roger, can you... Can you tell me one of my favorite Star Wars shows? Let me see what I can find in the rabbit hole. Based on your preferences, one of your favorite Star Wars shows could be The Mandalorian. It's a popular TV series set in the Star Wars universe that follows the journey of a lone bounty hunter navigating the galaxy. Alrighty, so my memory stash is not really good right now, but as I pro progress and use it, it'll be awesome. I would put this up there with the email. Two really good features that have recently come out. Hope you enjoy your Rabbit R1. I really enjoy mine. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.